Hey guys, Andrew Backer here again with more awful Premier League predictions and with more stupid bets. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. Right, starting off with 20th, I've gone for Crystal Palace. Now you might say why, and is, who's going to score the goals for them? Roy Hodgson is, he's past his bet. In my opinion, this will be Roy Hodgson's last year in football. And yeah. Uh, well, who's going to get them goals? Zaha. Now, I'm even going to say this as a bet, right? If Zaha scores 10 or more goals this season for Palace, I will gladly pour two milk cartons over my head. He's not going to do it. Palace will have no goal scorers. This is going to be a really, really long season for Palace. Benteke is not going to deliver you as anything. 19th is West Brom. Now, West Brom newly promoted. Same reason for Palace. Who's going to get you goals in the Premier League? Your best striker is Charlie Austin. A fellow whose Premier League sell-by day was in 2015. He's not good anymore. He's way past his best. And I just don't see how West Brom are going to get the goals to stay up this year. I honestly don't. And I know myself, it's always a risk putting in one of the newly promoted sides to go right back down. 18th Villa. Now, this one was tough. Between 18th and 17th, you'll see where my 17th is. Why have I gone for Villa? There's every chance, first of all, Greedish will still leave you. And if you do, you are done for. But I don't think he will. I still don't think you'll have enough. He'll score his goals, but I just don't think this year for Villa it's going to work out. 17th, West Ham. And yeah, West Ham, use are in for another long year. Barely any transfers made. David Moyes is your manager. There's every chance he could go down. And in my opinion, for West Ham, this will define their season. When will they sack Moyes? If they sack Moyes early enough, they'll stay up. If you leave it till after Christmas, there's not a hope you're staying up, probably, if Villa still have Grealish. I'm even going to say this, right? I will wear Man United shirt on a video if David Moyes is not the first manager sacked this season. I am convinced of it. This is going to be the first manager sacked. 16th Fulham. Now, I know this is um very stupid to put Fulham staying up. Their defence is made of bloody chocolate. Now, I've gone for this, right? Yes, last year they had no concentration at the back or anything. They were all over place. They did not have a clue how to hack it in the Premier League. This is now, though. Under Scott Parker, right? He's done bits there. I honestly think, I said it last year when Fulham went down. If he was manager a few months before he arrived, I think Fulham would have stayed up. Their form improved massively under him. They went on a, what was it, three-game winning spree in the league after being one of the quickest relegated teams ever. They'll stay up this time. I know they will. 15th, Newcastle. Now, why have I gone for Newcastle? Maybe maybe it's a bit low. Maybe it's, uh, a few years might think it's a bit high. It's in the middle for me. Um, You know, Steve Bruce's manager. You just got Ryan Fraser. That man knows when to get out of a sinking ship. Just warning Newcastle fans that if it doesn't go well, he will leave. Callum Wilson's a good striker, but he's too injury prone. You're going to be dealing with that all season. And no backup and Mike Ashley still in charge. It's going to be another long, boring season for Newcastle fans. 14th, Brighton. Now, I have never predicted Brighton to go down. And I'm still not. As a matter of fact, I think they're going to come 14th this season. Very good season this is going to be. The signings they made have been unbelievable. They have. And they didn't, They did their business early. 
They got wiped back from Leeds, who, they, who was on loan there. I think 14th in the league is reasonable. I really do. Uh, could be a good year. 13th Burnley. Now, I feel a bit harsh on this. Putting Burnley, you know, lower than maybe they usually do. But the reason why I'm putting Burnley here is you've made no summer signings. Sean Dice is a great manager, and that's why you're not going to be fighting relegation. But you do need to back him to help you. 12th, Sheffield United. Yep. I think I might have put you too high. But look, last year I put you way too low. I said you'd come last. And you made me look like a tick. This year I'm not putting you bottom three. I'm putting you mid-table in 12th. Push for the top half, maybe. Squad's getting older, though, and second season syndrome, and more competition this year will hold us back. 11, Southampton. Now, I would not be shocked if Southampton came 10th. I think it's going to be tied between 11th and 10th. I've gone for Southampton here. Danny Ings is going to want to really prove himself again. You've uh, like He wants to get in that England squad for the Euros, and... Um, your turnaround last year after that 9-0 loss to Leicester has been remarkable. And that's why I think this is going to be another strong year. 10th Leeds. Now, this is one I think I might have messed up. I think I put Leeds too high. But I'm going to put them in the top half. Bielsa is an unbelievable manager. You made great business. Why not give you a run at the top 10? Because I'm telling you this now. Leeds are back. And they're going to be around where everything usually come. They're going to be. For like for a few years now. I I think we could be seeing Leeds back in the Premier League for a while. I'm going to say that at least a decade I'd imagine. Ninth Leicester. And why have I put Leicester? Maybe I think this is a bit low. But no I'm going to stick to the ninth. Because Leicester you've got a European run to go on. And not just that. You have been Awful since Christmas. That's why I'm putting you as a ninth. I know you're out the league. No top seven this year. Ninth place. You blew the Champions League last year. Still a good year, but... Sorry, Leicester fans. Ninth place. Eight, Everton. Why have I gone for Everton here? Not making Europe, but a much better improvement. You just made great signings. As a Liverpool fan, I admit you have made unbelievable signings. And that's why I think you'll be back in the Europa League push this year. I don't think you'll get it. But I do think next season you will. The year after this. Seventh Wolves. Three straight years in a row and seven for Wolves. I can see this happening. Honestly. Nuno is such a good manager, and I know they lost Doherty to Spurs, but I can see Wolves getting into Europe. They've got a really good squad, and Dama Tiore will rip the league up again. And I honestly think another Europa League finish. Sixth, Spurs. You know, now, this is a bit low for Spurs. Now, I have my reasons for putting Spurs in sixth. My reasons are... I think this will do well until the latter stages of the Europa League. I can see Spurs being real contenders for that competition. And if what would they rather do? Get a top four finish or maybe win their first trophy since 2007? I really do think they are going to go for the Europa League more than the league this year. That's why I think this will suffer a little bit and finish in sixth. Fifth, Arsenal. Now, am I mental for putting Arsenal fifth? No. I put you third last year and you've let me down, Arsenal. This year, no top four prediction. Mikel Arteta is a good manager and I think he will guide you back up to fifth. I still think defensively you lack players. Get a few improvements in, you could push for that top four. But I don't think either North London club will. And I tell you what, there's the last bet on this video. If a North London club between Spurs and Arsenal gets in the top four this season, I will give away 20 quid worth of FIFA points. I don't think this is happening though. I really doubt it. Fourth Man United. 
Now, Man United, look, you have made great business. With Van der Beek, you are on a great run at the minute, apart from the Europa League finish. You are on a great run at the minute. And I think fourth place is reasonable for you. And I think you will definitely get top four. I do. Uh, Bruno Fernandes will score and get some assists. And yeah, I think you will get top four. You could finish higher. I'm not joking. It wouldn't shock me. I. I wouldn't say they're going to fight for the title, but I do think maybe they could finish higher than fourth, depending on how the next two teams I mentioned do. <laughs> Liverpool, Chelsea and City, let's be honest, they could all have a bad year. But I can't see them all having a bad enough year for United to win the league, I mean. Third, Liverpool. Now, I'm a Liverpool fan, right? Before anybody goes mental at me for not put it, putting them in the top two here. This could be a meltdown season. We don't know. Because there's been no signings. Fans are unhappy with FSG. This is so hard to predict for Liverpool this year. They could go on and tear the league up again or it could be a season where just battle for the top four. I'm going to say in the middle and third place. With investment, I'm going to say this. If Liverpool sign Thiago and get a good centre-back, I think Liverpool will win the league. But I don't think we will get it. That's why I'm putting us third. Like, if FSG spend the cash, we'll win the league. But until then, I'm sorry, we're only getting third this year, I think. Second, Chelsea. Now... I'm a little worried about putting Chelsea this high. I am. Ne- not necessarily that spending a load of cash guarantees you fighting for the title. I think it will do well, but it- this is going to take time. And I tell you what, if Chelsea get off to a brilliant start, I think they might win the league. But I don't think it will. I think it will take your time and you will get up to second. Champions, though, Man City. Now, I am very aware of this. Guardiola, this is a must season for him. He has to win the league or the Champions League. If he doesn't, I honestly think he'll be getting the sack. But I do think he'll win the title. Because they've done it before. If they sign Kula Bali, that would be amazing for their defence. They've already got Ake. If Laporte's fully fit, that defence is going to be fine. Aguero, he's a little bit older. I'd be a bit worried about that. But Jesus is good. De Bruyne, you have players. I think he's will win the league this year. I know I predicted for the last two years, three years, something like that, that he would win the league. But I'm saying it again. Anyway, being Andrew, see you next time.